1424 once again with NASCAR Heat 2. And in this episode of our season with Ty Majeski's number 60, not iRacing Ford, we are going to be completing race 17 of 33, which is going to take place at New Hampshire Motor Speedway for the Overton's 200. In the last episode, we raced at Kentucky Speedway for the Alsco 300, in which we finished in ninth place. I had a feeling that we could win because, for some reason, at the end of stage 2, a large majority of the field decided not to take pit stops. With that having been said, they didn't start taking pit stops until the middle of stage three. Now, during those pit stops, Joey Gase went down to the bottom of the racetrack and went crashing in on purpose to William Byron, one of the drivers who actually took a pit stop during the uh, caution after stage two. And then I almost went crashing into that wreck. So in this episode... We're going to rape Joey Gase, and it's going to be so fucking fantastic. I'm going to love it. And the next weekend, we have to race at Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Lily's Diabetes 250 or something like that. I can't even read the freaking logo. And then we have a race at Iowa again for race 19. Uh, looking forward to racing at Iowa again because Iowa wasn't too bad last time we went there. And especially Indianapolis because I like racing at Indianapolis in the NASCAR games. Well, most of them. It's, it's usually quite challenging and, well... I like challenging and intense racing. Indianapolis is not supposed to be intense in the race in the NASCAR games, but it is. The racing games, aside from NASCAR, maybe. So in the point standings, we are in ninth place right now, still, after the previous race. Justin Allgaier still at the top of the points table. William Byron is in second. Elliot Sadler in third. And uh, you can take a look at the rest of this stuff. And also, the playoff standings, like I mentioned at the end of the last episode, I think aren't that different from the top of the points table because it's starting to become quite decided, you know, who's consistent. I mean, really, it's just different in the order because of who's gotten the most wins. But the drivers with the most wins right now are kind of um, at the top of the playoff standings right now with Justin Allgaier, Elliot Sadler, me, William Byron is in fifth. And, uh, yeah, you can look at that. So, let's go ahead and get to New Hampshire. This is going to be our first day race in, I think, a couple weeks. Well, maybe not a couple weeks, but... The last day race that we did was before Iowa, I think. And um, one thing that I'm thinking about is the fact that qualifying might go quite well for us at this track because um, New Hampshire is always a track that I've really liked, or at least liked racing at, especially um, in games where it's really challenging. Uh, and it's really challenging in this game, but the tire wear might kill us. And that's one thing that I'm hoping doesn't happen because that's what happened in the truck series. But the races are longer in this one, so maybe tire wear will be even worse. And these cars are tight enough that it is, so I think before the race starts we might make adjustment to the wedge. Let's go ahead and get into qualifying then. Burning out them tires so that my, I don't have enough grip when we go into our first qualifying lap. I allowed the gas to get it to turn because it didn't want to turn on the throttle. That was weird. So we got the mirror on. Mainly, the main reason for us to go into qualifying is just to find out where Joey Gase is going to start. Okay, I, I need to focus on my corner entry. The way I take these corners, um, usually on my own, is just throwing into the corners. Because I feel like that's the uh, best way for me. Okay, let's give it all we got. I'll throw it into turn one. I haven't raced here in a while. The main reason is because I used to race here a lot online, but I haven't been playing this game online that much because I've only been playing this game for content recently. I just don't have time for online racing anymore. Okay, really good entrance to turn three down to a good speed until I think we can make it off the corner just fine. It won't turn. We almost hit the outside wall, but I think that exit ruined us. No, we got 23rd. That is our best qualifying spot all season, if I am correct. I'm not I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, we were quite a ways away from 22nd, but still, that is our best qualifying in a while. Uh, if I had a better exit to turn 4, we could be qualifying in the top 20. Uh, I just said in the last video that we haven't qualified in the top 30 in a while, and here we go qualifying in the top 25 and whatever, and almost in the top half of the field. Daniel Hemrick will be starting out in the pole, and Joey Gase is going to start. Let me guess, he's starting behind me. Uh, no, he's not starting behind me. Joey Gase is starting in 10th. Okay. I can make it to 10th before pit stops, I think. Okay, now this race is under the sunset. Darn. I mean, I love this track, but I don't love this track like that. I don't, I don't want to be racing it in a romantic uh, setting. Green flag is out. We're underway for the first stage, which is four laps just like it was in the last race. Looks like Jeremy Clements is getting the inside as fast as possible. 
trying to get myself a good exit off of turn two. I didn't change my wedge. I wanted to, but I'm not sure if that might be necessary. I think it'll be necessary once her tires get worn, though. That's one thing I might be able to confirm right now. Okay, on the brakes. Diving into turn three a little bit. Gosh. Racing these guys offline compared to what it is online is something else. It's honestly more challenging because people online aren't as good as me half the time. Oh, okay, let's not go crashing into these guys in front of us. I think we can get to the top ten within stage two. I don't know about stage one. Unless we're taking pits off after stage one. I don't think that would be entirely correct. I would like to take pits off after stage two, so that way we have balanced tire for the majority of the race. I don't want to be racing, you know, a large majority of this race on tires worn almost the entire time, you know? That's I think that's what happened in the truck series last time because we took our pit stop after stage one, didn't we? Okay. God dang it. Well, I gave him a bit of a push right there, but didn't exactly ruin his corner. I'm just wanting to dive it harder into the corners, and I can't do that with people sitting in my way. It's taking us forever to make up positions, to be honest. Well, we're getting there. They have better exits than we do, and I keep crashing to Tyler Reddick because I can't race my way around them. The car is not good at exits. It's okay at entries, but exits is just absolutely freaking horrible. I can't do that much with this race car right now. I really should have adjusted the wedge. Even if it felt okay at the start of this race, it's just not what I want. I want this car to be able to race, be, be aggressive and make progress with this thing. It's taken me forever to make progress with this race car. Well, it's the last lap of the stage. We didn't get very far. Oh my god, I'm throwing it way down to the apron. I'm trying. Oh, we're pushing up against Tyler Reddick, but the most we're going to get in this stage is only 19th. Yeah, this race car can't accomplish that much right now. Uh, Joey Gase lost seven positions in first stage. And it looks like we're not taking pit stops until after stage two. So that's what I wanted, but I can't make my adjustments yet. Joey Gase is right over there. Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. It's time to play! He's right in front of me! Going into turn one, uh, I'm probably going to wind up wind up taking out some other drivers with him, aren't I? Maybe. Or maybe I'll, I'll, I'll wait it out a little bit until it's just him alone. I'll give him um, a few seconds of grace. It's like he, we both are on the inside, so we both made up for quite a few positions. Gotta wait till the right moment. You gotta wait till the right moment. It's sunset. This is going to be the most romantic rape you will ever witness in your life. I might not have to be able to upload this to YouTube. I might have to go on porno. Of course, porno doesn't allow rape either. <laughs> ah, it's not good enough. Harder! Harder! Oh my god, I'm in a lot of positions racing like that. I'm getting uh, a lot of benefits from this one. Here we go. Well, he just doesn't budge. And I think I'm helping him out at the same time. Oh my god, fuck this physics engine. Just fucking fuck this physics engine. I, I'm possessed. I, I am possessed, and I have every right to be possessed. Well, I got him to hit the wall. Matt tip, fuck off. Uh, I'm not focused on the race anymore. I, I, I don't want to race. I just want to kill Joey Gase. Anally. And plus, we're going to lose a bunch of positions after the stage is over anyway, because we have to pit, right? Well, he's on the outside, but for some reason, wrecking somebody at this track is extremely difficult. It's hardly possible, if you ask me. Still right behind him. And all of a sudden, everybody's like, Hey, you could've finished better in stage two if you weren't possessed to try to fucking kill Joey Gates. But I wanted to. There we go. Fuck him. Ah. That was glorifying. But I'm starting to get the tire right now. This is why I really wanted to have pit stops after stage two, because I didn't want to have tire this bad after, during, well, stage three, the last stage. Uh, I mean, even if I hadn't been racing Joy Gates like that, I'd still be losing positions just like this because of how bad tire wear is at this racetrack. 
Oh my god, Tyler's awful here. So, Joey Gase is out of my sights. I hope he DNFs and everything. That'd be wonderful. It's the last lap of the stage. And I lost positions in this stage. To be quite honest, I probably wouldn't have lost stage if I wasn't possessed with jo Joey Gase, but I still would be losing positions right now. So that's the end of stage two. Now we can get to the actual race. Uh, Joey Gase finished in 25th. As long as he's losing ground all race long, I'm happy. Keep on losing ground. We're going to take pit stops now. Going to make some adjustments. Uh, I'm not going to make any repairs. I think the car's fine. We'll get four tires, a full tank of fuel, and we are going to drop the wedge down to 48.5. This is a flat racetrack, so I don't want to make it too loose, to be honest. And uh, we're in 39th. Brendan Poole DNF'd at some point. He is now four laps down. I'm pretty sure that I'm not responsible for that. Oh, we've had quite a few DNFs the past few races, haven't we? I mean, we've had one at Daytona. That was uh, Casey Kane, but y'all didn't see that. And in the last race, we had Ryan Reed, didn't we? And in this one, we've got... Um, who the hell just DNF'd? I just read his name. Brandon Poole, yeah, wow, oh my god. I can't believe I forgot the guy that I was just reading the name of. So, my car's really loose right now. Well, it's not really loose, but it's, it's looser, so. I think we can accomplish a little more with this car, even if Tyler gets a little bad. So that was nine laps we ran um, until, well, in stage one and two in total. It was nine laps, and we've got a total of like 11 laps in the final stage, so I don't think it should be too bad. Tower is going to be very bad in the last three laps of the stage, is what I'm trying to say. I think that's what I should sum it up with. Now, let's just make up a bunch of positions. Try to find ourselves a finishing in the top 15, maybe. Don't know how bad Tower is really going to be at the end of this race, but hopefully not so bad that I can't get a top 15. But I think we've got the time. Uh, this car just can't finish corners. These AI do things that I cannot imagine how they even do in the first place. It's quite the race. Ugh! Armstrong, god damn it. I'm not even turning my car, it's just doing it all on its own. I drove to the back of Armstrong because I wanted to be faster going to the corner, but he wouldn't let me because he was, he was, in, the, he was in the way. He was there. Uh, they go slow into the corners, they go really fast off the corners, but if I go that slow in the corner, I don't really get that benefit off the corner like they do somehow. I can get down to a slow speed in the middle of the corner like they already are. I mean, you can see what speeds we're going halfway through the corner. We're all going the same speed, so once we're getting to the exit, that's what I'm confused by is how they can get their cars to turn so well there. Uh, that was almost a slide drop right there on Kislowski. I almost rope into him, honestly. Okay, so we made it into 30th place. And it took us four laps to accomplish that, didn't it? Wow. That's kind of sad if you ask me. Okay, we're making a few spots right here, I suppose. Getting off the gas a little longer just so I could keep pushing forward. Joey gasses. Joey Gass. Joey Gase's ass is destroyed. I love it. I destroyed that ass. I destroyed that ass. And I'm proud of it. I almost crashed into Timmy Hill over here because I'm trying not to hit him. I'm trying so freaking hard not to hit these guys as I go to the corners because I can go fast in. And if I'm on their inside, it keeps from having such a great exit, to be honest. But we're getting there. We're getting there. This might be using up the tires, but, I mean, you got to use the tires. You can't just not drive the race car and, and race. It's a racing video game. you got to use them. Just pushing up against Jeff Green right now. I mean, he could move up to the outside a little bit more, but he's not. Now. Okay. So I don't have to worry about rear-ending anybody this time, but my car did not want to get to the bottom of the corner, so Jeff Green got underneath me right there. Okay, I'm going to pull up in front of this guy, and we're going to clear Jeff Green down the back stretch. Huge gap between us. Trying to clear it. Uh, I really threw it into that corner, so we gained some ground, but it was still a ridiculous taking of turn three. We gained some of it back. Golly, they've been pulling away with Jeff Green getting underneath me a while ago. Uh, I don't hit Clements. Uh, I'm pushing up into him because I'm trying to get up to speed like he is. And they run that outside so much better. I wish they had that... Uh, whatever it's called, they throw in the middle of the racetrack um, in reality at New Hampshire. I mean, considering this is not a realistic video game, it probably wouldn't be that effective, but still. With them, they can run all the way up on the outside. The higher they are, the faster their exit is. But with me on the inside, it seems that it doesn't matter where I am, I still get really tight for corners. We're in 21st place right now, and we're running out of laps. I'm trying to get a top 15. Maybe it's still possible. Who knows? Tyler, I can really start to feel it at this point. 
it feels like my car on default setup with tower now. So that's a good thing. Throw it into turn three again. The aprons turn my car for me. Yeah, they getting that runoff from the middle. We're still right there behind him. I think we can officially make some positions going to turn one this time. A couple. Ugh. Ah, I wanted to pull up in front of him, but I didn't want to overdrive the corner. Come on. Have a good exit. Ah, uh, my car's not turning. My car's not turning. Just pushing up against everybody. I'll tell you what, if you want to make progress in this game, you got to push up against everybody off the corners whenever your car's getting tight. There's no way around it, is there? you got to race dirty if you want to get what you want in this game sometimes. Ugh. New Hampshire's a tough track. I love racing here. In this game, at least, I'm starting to. No, 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 no. Blockity McBlockity Block. Okay, high entry into turn one so we can dive into the bottom. Still having trouble keeping it there, but our exits are a little bit better than on turn two than they are in turn four. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! That fucking wall! I mean, it's not that hard to finish a corner in New Hampshire, but on Warren Tires, that's just sad. Ah, uh, and they keep driving into me because my car can't drive at all anymore. It's There's just nothing left. Tower kills me yet again in New Hampshire, despite the fact we took our pit stops after stage two and not stage one. Yeah, we can't get a top 15 with this race car. And yeah, Jeff Green's going a little slow. He's holding me back a little bit. It's turning better this time. I don't know what I did so different, but I kind of figured the car would be able to finish the corner. And then it just started straightening out as before it was even over. Oh, God, I I'm diving onto the apron. Well, there's Jeff Green. I'm not exactly salty about what happened at Richmond anymore. But um, I still crashed into him a while ago. I got people all over me. Hey, look! It's Joey Gase. Oh my god. Joey Gase never goes away. And now Joey Gase is part of me! You'll always be my fear! I'm pretty sure no one understands that joke because no one's into Lincoln Park as much as I am in my subscriber base. I am trying to make up positions with a car that can't make up positions. If I succeed, I will be mind blown. I'm honestly just trying to get away from Joey Gates, who's somehow succeeding despite the damage that he has, which is almost equivalent to mine. Uh, oh, God, I tried so hard not to hit you guys. I'm trying to side job him, but he's getting up to speed and keeping me from getting right there. I just can't turn my car unless I'm up against somebody at this point. This is the last lap of the race. I didn't notice that. Uh. So we got 19th. Come on. No, you're not going to my outside. You're not making a pass. Here we go. Here we go. We got 19th place here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. It could have been worse. I could have done a horrible job of blocking and holding back Jeff Green and everybody else that was on my ass. Goddamn Joey Gase! Eric Jones came away with the win in this race, and he also won one of the stages, but I didn't really pay attention that much in this episode who was winning the stages and whatnot. And uh, we finished in front of Joey Gase, so that makes me happy, and um, I got what I wanted, a decent finish, I think we finished better in this race than we did in the truck series in terms of position, of course the field is larger, so I don't know if it exactly matters, of course Elliot Sadler, William Byron, uh, Justin Allgaier, those guys finished quite well, and poor Brennan Poole, he finished 18 laps down with the DNF, had some engine troubles early on, uh, but like I said, I came to this race hoping to get an okay finish, and uh, completely fucking rape Joey Gase, and we did. People are like, oh, you could have finished better. I don't care where I could have finished better. I, I got rid of Joey Gase's existence. That is awesome. And we are still in ninth place in the point standing, so at least I didn't lose positions in the point standings because of this 19th place finish. That's nice to see, but looks like Ty Dillon is quite a few points away. I mean, he's not a large points away. Um, Harrison Rhodes is way behind me, so huh, things are looking good. And you can take a look at the post-race information. Elliot Sadler ran the fastest lap with a 31.69. Uh, most laps led was Eric Jones, and he won the race. He led 27 laps in this race. That's pretty much the entire race, so I guess he won all the stages. Um, ben Kennedy was on the move. He started 31st and finished in 17th. I qualified so well that I couldn't exactly make up that many positions. And then Brendan Poole started 24th and finished in 40th that DNF. Next weekend, we are going to Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Lily Diarrhea 250. 
race 18 of 33. I have no idea what the hell the name of this race is because I can't read that shit. And then after that, next weekend we also have Iowa Speedway again, race 19 of 33. I also don't know what the hell the name of that race is because there's no race logo entirely right there. I asked at the beginning of this video or at the end of the last video, I think, I was wondering, um, do they have sponsorship problems with Iowa in this game? Something similar to how hard it was for them to get Pocono into some NASCAR games and Pocono's sponsorship issues in reality. But anyways, uh, here are the point standings in full. Justin Allgaier is still at the top of the points table. William Byron is in second. Elliot Sadler in third. Eric Jones, after winning that race, that was actually his first win. And he is in fourth place in the point standings now. So that's interesting. Ryan Reed is in fifth. Blake Cook, sixth. Daniel, blah, 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 blah. Daniel Suarez is in seventh. I thought Daniel Suarez drove the 19 car. He drives the 18 car. And Matt Tiff drives the 19 car. I always get this fused because Matt Tiff sucks and Daniel Suarez is not even supposed to be racing the series anymore because he should be focusing on the Cup Series. Uh, Ty Dillon is in eighth. And here is us in ninth. Harrison Rhodes is in tenth. Jeremy Clements, eleventh. Brendan Poole, twelfth. And that's the point standings. And really, I don't think that defers that much from what we have in the, the uh, playoff settings because I don't see anybody... Actually, Eric Almarola is in 19th place with one win, so that's one thing that's different. Uh, Ross Chastain got that one win earlier this season, but he's in 24th, so I don't think he's going to be able to make it into the playoffs with that. Maybe he's trying to get into position to be in the playoffs, but even if it happens, he's not going to be able to succeed in the playoffs. And, uh, yeah, that's the rest of that stuff. Here are the playoff standings now. Um, nothing's really changing here. But Eric Jones is locked into the playoffs now, I'm pretty sure, just because of that win. I mean, you kind of already had it with um, points, I suppose. But right now, there are only three drivers who've gotten in on points for the most part. So if somebody wins behind these three guys, one of them are getting knocked out unless they win. I guess I should mention that. All right, then. I'll see you guys next weekend for Indianapolis where hopefully I'll know what the name of that race is whenever someone probably informs me in the comment section of this video or maybe the one before that. Maybe y'all won't even care as much as I do. See you next time. That's that and episode over.